Hi, my name is Vala Sakali. I'm an interior designer. I live in uh, County Limerick in Tornafula, and welcome to my gaff. My, I would describe my personal style as very relaxed and eclectic. Uh, the interiors in here that you can see, they used to be very dark and uh, very, uh, very dramatic, but uh, last two, year, uh, two years ago, I uh, changed them into something very country looking, very relaxed, uh, very uh, bright and light and airy. Interior design is in my blood since um, I was a child. I remember when I was about uh, 10 years old, every Saturday I would move furniture in my room and uh, interior design is something that I breathe, it's in my blood. I, I love uh, DIY, I love uh, makeovers, I, I love uh, changing interiors for my clients. Um, it's just my biggest passion. So my favorite DIY project uh, of today that I did is this cabinet. It used to be white, boring, uh, um, with uh, glass inside here. Uh, so what I did, I added 3D panels, I attached them with the glue, I painted over the whole cabinet with the primer and then with this gorgeous color, and I attached uh, new door handles, and uh, that's the biggest, uh, that's the best uh, DIY of today, I think, that I did. So I did the swing out of door saddle, leftovers of the fabric and the rope, my husband helped me to attach it to the ceiling beam and uh, all the kids that come over to our house always fight over the swing. My most recent addition to my home is uh, this gorgeous uh, velvet sofa from uh, So Simple Collection from DFS. So this sofa is called uh, Ola, uh, it's in a peacock uh, teal uh, color. Um, it, um, I picked it in three simple steps. So first I picked the shape and I wanted this shape to complement the shape of the other sofa that I have. Uh, so it, uh, it picks it beautifully with the shape of the armrest. Uh, the color was very important to me because uh, most of my interiors are very uh, neutral. So I wanted to add a tiny bit of color, tiny bit of wow factor to the space. So I did it with this color. Um, and the third step that I uh, picked was picking uh, uh, fabric. So I went for velvet to add a tiny bit of luxury to the space. So this sofa is in the middle of the uh, open space living. So I didn't want anything too bulky. So um, this sofa is just, it's a two-seater sofa and uh, it's not very, it's very comfortable as you can see, but uh, it's not very bulky. So uh, you can still walk comfortably around it. So it's perfect for the space. So uh, I have loads of uh, wood paneling in the house, uh, but obviously wood paneling is very expensive. So I didn't want to spend uh, that much amount of money uh, with decorating my office. So I used this gorgeous 3D wallpaper that looks like real wood paneling. It even has a texture on it. So when you look at it, you really think it's wood paneling. It was a cheap and affordable uh, purchase from Amazon. I find inspiration really everywhere, um, Instagram, Pinterest, other people's houses, my clients' houses, uh, inspiration follows me everywhere, but um, I always come back to neutral interiors, so for example you can see in my kitchen it's very neutral, uh, it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the house. The best interior design advice I could ever give to someone is to don't, is don't be afraid to play with color. So as you can see, most of my interiors are very, uh, very neutral and easy on the night, but I always add wow factor with pops of color, like for example, uh, this colorful green cushion, colorful wall art, uh, this steel sofa. 